Welcome to Knicks.com. Jonah Ballo here with the 34th overall pick for the New York Knicks, Clee Anthony Early. Clee Anthony, welcome to New York. And uh, just give me your first reaction when the Knicks picked you and you saw that scroll across the screen. I was pretty excited, you know. Ended up being a 34th pick. Just got to continue to grind and get better, honestly. So I felt good, but I knew it was a whole much work to be done. Now you talked about how you kind of had a feeling New York was in the mix for you. Didn't have a pick, you know, prior to Wednesday night. So did you just have a gut feeling that the Knicks were in the mix for you? Yeah, definitely. Especially after my interview, that went real well. All of my workouts went real well, but I didn't work out for them. And the way things worked out, just them being able to get a pick and making a couple of trades. I've seen it as a possibility. Now you're from Bronx, Middletown, so you know the area well. What's that like for you to just be a part of this Knicks franchise and eventually just suit up and throw that jersey on you? I just feel like it's a part of my state, you know, my, my heart and, and everything that I do it for. My mom's here, my family, the love of the game, it started here. So everything just comes back to New York and, and, and the supporters, the people who believe in me, and just trying to change this program around, honestly, and do a little bit better than we did before or, or you know. You know, it's really interesting your upbringing and reading about your family history and some of the trials and tribulations you went through. Can you talk about how that affected you and how you're able to persevere and get to this point? Well, just being strong-minded and not letting anything disturb your peace. There's obviously trials and tribulations that everyone goes through, and that's a part of the paradox of life. You'll never be able to change those things. You just got to learn how to live with it and develop as a person and just, you know, reach that ultimate goal that you set for yourself or that supreme being. And the only way you do that is to be around people that you know is going to help you. So me coming into this situation with Derek Fisher being the coach, Phil Jackson, and all the rest of the guys, Allen Houston, people that I looked up to, you know, it's right here, you know, friends, close friends, you know, Tim, you know, Tere. It was, it was, it was a blessing. So I, I couldn't be any more happier, and I'm ready to do what we need to do. Now you spent a couple of years uh, with community, you know, playing uh, college ball at the, you know, lower level, junior college level, and then you got the chance at Wichita State. What clicked there for you at Wichita State, especially when we saw that game against Kentucky, where you exploded for 31? Well, we just honestly worked hard, and we had a good group of guys that played for each other. And, and played for everything that they believed in. And the way we had each other back spoke for itself. Going into the situation, everything lined up perfectly for my visit. Me staying out there for a couple of days. My assistant coach, Greg Hire, reaching out to me when he was at JUCO and me having to go to Sullivan. It was, it was just, it was, it, in many ways and forms, it was connected on, on different scales. And I paid close attention to that. And, I just valued that, you know, something that I really couldn't explain about it, but that drawed me to it. And it's kind of the same situation here. So hopefully, hopefully the trait continues to uh, just continue to prolong prosperity and success. Yeah, Hurricane Irene basically was the reason why you stayed in Wichita State. A yeah. couple days made you stay there and uh, eventually Definitely. fell in love with the program. Yeah, so that's kind of crazy how things work out. All right, for fans out there that maybe didn't catch you in the NCAA tournament, I don't know how they did, but give them a glimpse of what you're going to bring to the table when you're with the Knicks. Just a fire, honestly, and, and a passion for the game, a love for the game. I'm a basketball player, so I'm going to try to do whatever it takes to win a game and whatever I need to do on the basketball court. So just a good player that's willing to get better under, you know, Phil Jackson and the rest of the New York Knicks program. How many books have you read of Phil Jackson yet? <laughs> I actually got one in my bag right now. <laughs> there you go. Great answer. So you're ready to run that triangle. <laughs> I, I got it. I'm, I'm trying to prepare just to read as much as possible because it doesn't hurt. It only helps. So to be able to text him and talk to him, it's, it's, all, it's all beneficial. All right. We're going to be in Vegas for Summer League. MSG Network's got all the games televised. So you're going to be a marquee player we're going to have to watch. Hopefully you make some time for us in Vegas and we'll catch up with you there. Definitely. Man, the boys will be ready to go. All right. There he is. Clean Anthony Early right here on Knicks.com.